Hey guys, what's up? So some leveling videos out of the way. Now we can start talking about some other stuff on this channel. So one thing that I really wanted to touch on was bank alts. Bank alts are a key part of Classic WoW just because of inventory space and just how uh, important that is to manage on your main character. Uh, you're going to have to send off a lot of materials, uh, patterns, recipes, things like that that you don't want to hold on to all the time. And this is where bank alts come into play. Now, when I say bank alts, I don't actually mean an auction character. I will touch on a few auction house um, tips and stuff, but in the for the most part, this is about bank alts and just how you can kind of utilize a bank alt when it comes to classic WoW. So my first tip is to have multiple. Multiple bank alts is very important because you start out with a 16 slot bag and obviously each character has access to a, a bank. Now, you start getting diminishing returns obviously when you have just one bank alt because you have to purchase all of your bank slots for bags and you're going to have to obviously either purchase, craft, or find other backpacks. So having multiple bank alts just gives you free real estate and now when I have these multiple alts, normally I try and name them something very uh, easy and quick to remember. So when you're going to send items, you can kind of remember what items you like to send to what alt. And also uh, it's just an easy way for you to you know, manage in your head all your bank alts so you don't log on to the wrong one and can't find what you're looking for. So my example is normally I take uh, the beginning of my name and then add some sort of description to the end. So EBN, and then I'd add Misk. Misk would be a character that holds miscellaneous items, so things that I don't really have a home for, things like different random patterns, recipes that I found, uh, essences, like white items such as large fangs, glowing scorpid blood, stuff like that that is valuable, um, but it doesn't really have a specific spot that I would keep it at. Uh, and then I'd have another character, maybe if I was herbalist, I would have EBN herb and I'd hold my herbs on that character. You kind of understand um, what I'm getting at, but having a lot of these characters is, is a very good, good option for you. Now that moves us into the next point, which is create a bank character right away. Now this can be your bank character or this can be an auction house character that you have planned. But what you want to do is just create a character right away. And if you're going to have the option to name save, make sure you just add a character. I believe you can you can make multiple when you're saving names. I could be wrong. But on that day, make sure you make another character. The good thing about bank alts is you don't actually have to log into them right away. So say you create your character and you want to start leveling right away uh, at launch. If you have a bank alt created, even if you haven't logged into them, you can still send mail to them. The game um, acknowledges that there is a created character uh, with that name, and so it will allow you to send mail, even if you've never logged into them before. So this will help you when you're leveling up, say you're in your 20s, you're in the Barrens, and you're starting to kind of pick up items that you wanna save and hold on to, but you're running out of bag space, and then this allows you to kind of shuttle some stuff off to an alt character without having to log out and make a new one at launch, which is very important due to the fact that, you know, there could be queues and stuff like that, and you don't want to run the risk of getting disconnected. So with that tip out of the way, let's get on to our next one. All right, guys, this tip will come in, in handy if you're a horde. Uh, if you're alliance, there's really no uh, quick alliance alternative. So this one's really only for the horde. I'm sorry guys, but this is one benefit of being horde. So if you want to make a bank alt, like I said, there's an easy way for you to access your bank so you get extra storage and you can get there nice and fast. Uh, you make a troll or an orc and you actually run towards the hidden path, which is used for the shaman quest in the Valley of, the tri in the Valley of Trials. So after you run over this ridge, you're going to fall down uh, onto what would be considered the barren side of the map. This will put you in the cove near Ratchet and will allow you to easily get over to Ratchet, which has a bank and a mailbox, which is perfect for horde characters. Uh, you're obviously, when you're running here, you're going to come across some um, high level mobs. They're going to kill you. That's totally fine. Just go ahead and once you get to the graveyard, make sure you talk to the spirit healer and just res there. 
And at that point, you're basically set to go. You can just log out at the inn, and then the bank is just across the way in Ratchet. So this is a perfect example of a way to easily set up a bank alt um, if you're Horde side. So my next tip is a bank uh, alt uh, suggestion, but it also is just an alt suggestion in general. If you're one of those people that enjoy making alts on classic, you enjoy the leveling process and, you know, enjoying quests, dungeons and stuff like that, any of your alts, you can make use of them. So first off, being level five, you're able to pick up enchanting. And this is a great thing to have on a bank alt or just an alt in general. This means that your main character can send any BOEs that you pick up in the world and then that alt can actually disenchant them and then you as a as your main can use those mats uh, for enchants that you yourself need or you can sell them on the auction house to make some gold now that doesn't just stop with enchanting uh, as you level up in classic wow you're able to get higher and higher levels of professions the nice thing at level 35 is you're able to get the highest um, and the highest professions and skill all the way up to 300. When you skill up to 300, you're able to actually unlock some really nice perks uh, with these professions that allow you to make passive income. All right, let's talk about bank alts now when it comes to the auction house. Uh, auction house is very important aspect of Classic WoW, obviously. Um, even though it's important in the other iterations of the game, gold is so important and there's so many items that vendor for so little and i'm talking about white items but actually come in great use for different characters and different professions so the auction house is a very good tool for you to take items and flip them for a lot more money now one thing about classic wow there's going to be a lot of new faces to the game that don't understand the value of some certain items i'm talking about things like uh your materials for Lionheart Helm early on and you guys know what I'm talking about there's a lot of materials for these different items that are just white items that are dropped off of you know beasts out in the world and they come in in use down the line and will actually be being sold for quite a bit because people will need these so keep your eyes out for you know uh, wicked claws uh large fangs always send white items over to your character i've done a video on this on the past but i can't stress how important these white items are for early on in the game and then obviously later on down the road with dark moon fair all right guys that being said you can also take advantage of having alt characters by fake undercutting things on the auction house um, this is pretty common if it's a smaller auction house or there's not as many items up but you can always put things up on one character for a lot of gold and then much cheaper on another character. And a lot of times that will inspire people to buy when they see it for such a good deal, when in reality it's about the average price that it sells for. That being said, another thing that I think is very important early on is COD orders. There's not enough people that use these cash on demand orders um, within classic wow you always see on private servers that there's you know one or two people that are constantly you know asking people to sell or to send them uh, rune cloth or constantly asking people to send them uh, thick leather well the thing is these people have understand ha have understood that early on in the game these stacks of materials don't go for very much and so a lot of times they go for so close to vendor price that you're able to just constantly buy them up from players around you and turn these into lucrative items that you craft with profession now with all this being said one of my biggest tips for you guys with bank alts using the auction house and just classic wow in general is always plan ahead we know exactly what content is coming. That's one of the perks of Classic WoW. It's not like a new expansion where we don't know what's around the corner. We know exactly what is coming in the next phase of the, of the game, and you can always be prepared for this. We know that when a new phase comes out, there's going to be new PvE and new PvP content. That means things on the auction house that are consumables, uh, enchanting materials, profession materials, uh, things for new recipes that get launched, 
all those are going to skyrocket in value. You saw this on private servers and you'll see it in Classic WoW. Knowing this kind of stuff and just doing a little bit of pre-planning and a little bit of your homework on what items are going to go up in value and what is going to be used in you know upcoming recipes that are launched in new phases, this can really set yourself up for success in the long term with making gold and not having to you know go out and do as much farming all the time in classic wow so hope these tips were super helpful guys and you know classic is right around the corner i hope you guys are getting excited i know i am thanks a whole lot guys for watching uh more to come more to come in the next few weeks so look forward to that and i'll see you tomorrow